The U.S. Postal Service has issued the Go For Broke stamp, honoring the military service of the 442nd, considered one of the most decorated regiments of World War II. And as Como's Ryan Yamamoto shows us, their heroics are now part of the latest novel from a best-selling Seattle author who writes about their deep roots here in the Pacific Northwest. They are the faces of Americans, the faces of heroes. These were all members that were killed in action. And Michael Yaguchi, commander of the Nisei Veterans Committee Memorial Hall in Seattle's International District, never hesitates to give a tour of what has become a museum to the 442nd and our local Japanese Americans who served in World War II. During a time of war, when America dealt them a pretty bad hand, these men stepped up. The combat regiment consisting of 18,000 soldiers who volunteered despite their families being put into internment camps. They fought for more than a year in several campaigns in both Italy and France. How decorated was this group? Let me just put it to you in terms of how they were recognized. 21 Medal of Honors recipients. For its size and length of service, it is the most decorated unit in the U.S. Army. For Seattle author Daniel James Brown, known for his best-selling book, The Boys in the Boat, the story of the 442nd became his next passion project. And one infamous battle known as the Lost Battalion grabbed his attention. The 442nd had to rescue a, um, a group of Texas soldiers that were surrounded by German troops on a mountain top. And that was an absolutely hellacious battle. That battle, one of the pivotal moments in his new book, Facing the Mountain, released last month, following the lives of four heroes, including Fred Shiosaki, who grew up in eastern Washington in Spokane. When the Army created the 442nd Regimental Combat Team, this all Japanese American fighting unit, Fred immediately enlisted. Brown drawn to Shiosaki through the archives of Seattle's Densho project. They're up in a big piece of shrapnel on my side, and I'm, you know, I'm not bleeding hell at all, but I'm bleeding. Fred's story and the history of Japanese Americans have been collected for 25 years by Tom Makeda. When Dan and I talked about this, it, we, at some point we didn't talk about this as a Japanese American story. It was really just an American story. A story now in the pages of a best-selling author, a story given the stamp of approval by the U.S. Postal Service, a story to go with these faces, the faces of heroes, the faces of Americans. This is why this story is so important. In Seattle, Ryan Yamamoto, Como News. The 442nd included Japanese Americans who volunteered from across the West Coast and was combined with the 100th, 100th Infantry Battalion out of Hawaii. In addition to those 21 Medals of Honor, they were also awarded seven Presidential Unit Citations and more than 9,400 Purple Hearts.